Welcome to Whitney's channel. Hi guys, hi, my name is Whitney Wiley and thanks for checking out my channel. So today I'm gonna do this drugstore Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. So if you wanna see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting even more videos this week, so if you subscribe below or press that little bell notification, it'll let you know every time I upload a new video. All right, let's get started. So I am going to use all drugstore items for this Valentine's Day look and try to keep it pretty natural um, or feminine, glowy, not too smoky. So let's get going. Also, excuse my voice right now, I'm a little sick, so um, I went the whole winter without getting sick, and then I hopped on a plane, and first day I get off of it, I'm sick. I don't know. What does it tell you about planes and cabin air? Ugh. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna start off with primer. I'm gonna use a combo, so I'm gonna use the NYX Angel Veil Primer first. And then I'm gonna go in with the NYX Pore Filler Primer after that. So I have large pores, so I don't wanna ignore those, but the Angel Veil Primer will help to just keep the makeup on in general. And it kinda helps to just give your makeup something to stick on to. So I'm gonna put this not all over my face, but just the areas where my makeup wears away first. So it's like my nose, my chin, my forehead. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the NYX Pore Filler and just put a tiny amount on my finger. And then I actually like to press it into my nose area, the areas where I know have really large pores. So I do that kind of like a pressing and rubbing motion to fill in the pores, make sure the product goes in there. And then I also do any other areas where I have large pores. Okay, so my face is primed and ready to go. Now I'm gonna use the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. So this is a new foundation by NYX. You can see that. Um, and really cool thing about this line of foundation is I went into the NYX store to buy it and they have so many shades. Normally at the drugstore, I am the darkest shade or the shade right before the darkest shade, but they had like probably like 15 shades after my shade in darkness. So no matter what skin tone you are, there's a selection for you to choose from. So I think it tells you to put like four to five drops I pretty much put like an entire squeeze down and then I just dip my brush in it. I'm using a BH Cosmetics 123 brush back, by the way, this is like a flat top kabuki brush. It came with a set of like 10 other brushes. I reviewed it on my last video. Um, my drugstore haul, I'll link that video up here somewhere so you can see it. But yeah, I got 10 brushes for basically like 20 bucks. And this was one of the brushes and I really like this one actually to put on foundation. So I've been using this. So this has like a little bit, it's a little darker than my skin right now. It has a yellow undertone, which I have. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with concealer under my eyes. Um, I got picked up two new concealers from the drugstore. I have the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. So I picked this one up, which is really cool. It's in the shade Honey, and it has like a little spongy tip on it, if you can see that. So I'm gonna go in with a few dots of this. It's a little more liquid than this other concealer I'm going to use. I'm gonna mix them because why not? And then I got the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild. This is brand new as well. I got this at the drugstore, and I got this. Actually, there is no shade. Oh, medium deep tan. So this actually reminds me a lot of the NARS um, 
Radiant Creamy Concealer. Kind of with the texture. Personally, not as good. It does settle in lines a little bit where I find the NARS one never does. But it kind of has that moussey consistency. So I'm going to put that on and then go in. This is the new L'Oreal sponge. I've been testing this out. So I'm gonna dab that into my skin. Okay, so now I'm setting the powder with the Maybelline Dream Wander powder um, in shade 95 Coconut. And I'm just using any powder. This one's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, I feel, right now, so that's why I'm going in with this. And I'm just using an angled brush to pop that in. So with this Wet n Wild concealer, especially, I feel like you have to set it like immediately, because last time I didn't, and it settled in my fine lines under my eye. Okay, now that my concealer is set, I am going to go in with the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. And this is just a, let's see if I can get it to focus. This is just a highlighting and sculpting um, liquid. Comes like this, that I use to just carve out my face a little bit, do a little contour. Um, I like the look of a liquid or a cream contour and then set with a powder. To me, it kind of looks a little more like skin. I'm gonna go a little under my lip to make my lips look a little bit bigger. And then I like to do it on my nose, but it gets a little messy here sometimes. So. And then I'm gonna go in with my sponge on the other end and blend it again. This also sets fairly quickly, so kind of want to get in there so you don't see that streakiness. But to me, it has a really natural shade, which I like. I believe, what color did I go in with? Oh, this is Espresso Honey is the shade that I used. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the NYX Cheek Contour Duo Palette. So this is what it looks like. Um, I discovered this while trying to find a drugstore contour powder, and I love this one, actually. It is um, almost as good as my Kevin Aquan one that I purchased. That was, I wanna say that thing was like 50 bucks. 50 bucks, but worth it. I'm not gonna lie, it's the best contour powder I've ever used. But this is a very close second, and I believe this was maybe $10. So I'm just gonna go in with a angled brush again and carve out my cheekbones. And then I'm gonna just take a little tiny fluffy brush like this, go in with a contour powder and That, that liquid contour on my nose. So next I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. This is brand new. I got it in shade Cocoa from the drugstore, so it looks like this. You can see that. And when I went in for this, um, there was actually two shades of a darker powder that I could use, but they didn't have um, that many choices for foundation, which was interesting. So they didn't go um, as deep with the colors and foundation. So here is the powder. I'm just gonna use this. This is a really light powder. Um, there's really not much color to it, but I just like to use it to like blend and diffuse some of the contouring powder that we put on just helps blend it in a little bit more so it's not so harsh. Okay, so now it is time for brows. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and Espresso right here, which I've been using this for about a year now and love it. And then I'm gonna use also the NYX um, Black Brow Mascara. So I also really like this. 
and I probably will fill it in a little bit with um, just brow powder. So you can use any type of deep brown eyeshadow as a brow powder. So I'm gonna go in and brush them out and outline them with the pencil first. And I'm trying to grow my brows out right now. So they're a little crazy, but you know, what are you gonna do about it? Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with the Wet n Wild Concealer and I'm gonna use just a flat concealer brush like this, like a pointed tip, and clean up my brows since they're in that awkward growing out stage. Okay, I wanna keep the eyes fairly natural and feminine and girly. Um, natural as a smoky eye can be. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the Inglot Gel Eyeliner, and this is in number 94. And I know Inglot is not a um, drugstore brand, but um, I really do like their price point. Like I believe this was like $12 or something like that. So it was kind of like higher end drugstore, but still much cheaper than a MAC paint pot or something like that. So I'm just gonna go in with a flat brush and put this base on my eyelid. This will help the colors pop a little more since we're gonna do more neutral shades anyway, not super bold. And cool thing is, I feel like this is a base that you could just wear alone. So you could just put a transition shade in your crease and then rock this, cause it's like a pretty, kind of rose gold. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Mad For Matte 2 palette. I went to e.l.f. yesterday to try to find some really cute eyeshadow palettes, and I know that their Mad For Matte 1 was good. So I wanted to try this one because I thought these shades were really romantic and perfect for Valentine's Day. So, let's see. With a large, fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with I think the third shade in. So this one over here, right here. And then use that as my transition shade. So I'll basically just put that all over. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with fourth shade in, that little pink shade right here, right there. And I'm gonna put that in the same area. Okay, now with a flat brush, I'm gonna take the dark pink shade, the one, two, three, four, five, six shade in, and I'm gonna put that on my lid from outer to center. I'm using a flat brush to place that on. Okay, now I'm gonna take the bright orange shade, seventh in, and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. I'm just gonna take another flat brush and put that right in the inner corner. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the purple shade and put that on the outer corner of my eye. I'm just gonna take a rounded brush like this and go in with that purple. This is a little bit of a powdery palette, so definitely tap off your excess before you put it on so you don't have a ton of fallout. And then buff out. All right, then we're gonna go back in with that same rounded tip brush and put a little bit of the black on the edge, just a little. I'm not gonna really bring it into your crease too much. And then go back in and blend that. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Silka Seam Liner from, I believe it's, yeah, L'Oreal in black, and I'm just gonna line my upper lash line. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just so that my fake lashes blend with my lash line. Almay One Coat Multi-Effect Mascara in black, but any mascara will do. We are going to wear fake lashes, so we just wanna coat our real ones black so that they match the lashes. Okay, for lashes, I'm going to use, for lashes, I'm gonna use the Red Cherry Lashes in number 47. This is shade, or um, Style Harper. And I have never used these before, but I have used Red Cherry and I really, really like them. Um, I believe they go for like $3, sometimes even $2 at the drugstore or a beauty supply store, so they're even cheaper than like Ardell lashes that you get at Walgreens and CVS. Okay, I'm also going to line my bottom waterline with the NYX Wonder Pencil, um, and this is a nude pencil. I'm just gonna do that to open up my eyes a little bit. Um, this is shade deep. And then I'm just going to go in with some colors underneath my lower lash line with the same e.l.f. palette. So I'm just gonna follow what I did on top. I'm just gonna take a little small definer brush like this and do the purple shade on the outer corner. Take the pink shade towards the middle, towards the middle. <laughs> and then go in with that orange shade in the inner corner. And then just go in with a fluffy brush and blend out the edges. Okay, lashes are on. So now I'm going to go in with the Inglot Gel Liner in number 77, which is just the black shade. And I'm going to use a eyeliner brush like this. This is from Real Techniques. And cover up this lash band. So I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of that Inglot gel liner, the uh, rose gold one, and put that in the inner corner. Just brighten that up a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with blush. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. blush palette in the dark shade, the bottom two shades. So, I'll just combine those. Go in right above that contour. All right, and then finally, I'm gonna go in with highlight, my favorite part. So I'm gonna use the Milani Golden Light. This is brand new from the drugstore. Milani Golden Light. Yeah, it's really pretty. And I'm gonna use a mix of that and then the Elf, or I'm sorry, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, but it's called Crown of My Canopy is this shade, and it is so pretty. They're both really pretty, but I'm gonna take a fan brush and start off with the Milani on my cheekbones. And I like to do a little too much highlight and then I brush away the excess when I blend it out. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild and add that to my cheeks. Oh my gosh, can you see that? Whoa, it adds so much glisten. And I feel like it kinda looks like a little more melted into the skin stippling brush like this and just blend it all. The blush, the contour, and I go over the highlight. Kind of tones it down a little bit. After, before. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with something new from the drugstore. This is the Wet n Wild um, Liquid Lipsticks. They're called Liquid Catsuit Mega Last Lipsticks. These were huge, everybody was talking about them. I think they were like less than $5 from the drugstore. I have Very Recognize um, Give Me Mocha 
and Rebel Rose. And I don't know which one I should do. Um, before that, actually, I want to line my lips with the new Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in this. Uh, this is the shade Gone Burgundy. This is also new from the drugstore. So I'm going to line my lips. Okay, I'm gonna have to do, give me mocha. And I've worn these a couple of times and they're very, they're very comfortable. Of the Rebel Rose on the inside. Kind of ombre it. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoy. If you recreate this look, definitely let me know. Um, I'm glad that I was able to put something together using all drugstore products and things that were all affordable and most of them are fairly new, so you're able to check out some of the new stuff at the drugstore. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting even more videos this week, so um, that way you won't miss one. And I'd love to see you back for another. So I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day, whether you spend it with yourself or you spend it with Faye, whoever you spend it with. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in my next one. All right, bye guys.